Usually what we do is, it gets really technical, but we use, uh, we collect data, we collect forms, we have parents um, look through their, look at their child and they add, identify when, where, their best guess of why and their best description of what happens. And then what's really, really interesting is we also ask them, how could this have been avoided? And usually it's that question, right? Even I say, if it's the absolute wrong thing, like give them all the candy on earth or let them watch 17 hours of video, usually that's the answer. But it, when it's not, those other things that we ask families in a formal way, and then we analyze that data to figure out really what's going on. Because the challenge with bad behavior or undesired behavior is it always gets attention, right? If you're hitting somebody, adults are going to stop you from hitting, right? Or if you're flipping over tables, we're going to stop you from doing that. So lots of times people will say it's for attention. But it's uh, most of the time it's not for attention. Most kids don't act out for attention. Most kids act out first for something else, and it's just a bonus that I get your undivided attention.